And I can remember thinking, this is not a skin lesion. There's something going on here. This feels unfamiliar to me. I haven't felt this sensation in my body before. And I went to London to see some friends during my pregnancy. And I went to the, the Lister Hospital there, which is a cancer hospital. And there was that intuition. There was that part of me that knew that I needed to go and see someone um, else and ask for a second opinion. And I went to see my, my doctor there. And he said to me, he said, look, I, I'll be honest with you. Now is not the time for us to have this conversation because you're pregnant and there's nothing we can do about it. But he said to me, once you've had your baby and you're feeling back to, you know, more normality, he said, I'd really encourage you to come back and see me because this is something that we need to address. And so I did. I had Noah and I was feeding him myself um, to begin with. But as he was on me and feeding his little hands constantly, as babies do, they are touching their mom's skin all the time. And so I ended up having to have a big dressing on here and wear it on my chest because I couldn't even feed him without him constantly scratching this sore. It was like the wound that never healed. Um, you know, it never formed a scab or anything like that. It was just an open wound all the time. And so I realized, you know, my intuition told me that he was telling me that I needed to do something about it. He was constantly reminding me of what it was that I was not addressing. And so I went back to London and I went to the, the Lister again and they did a surgery on me and they put me on a chemo treatment. And so, you know, I had to, to deal with um, having skin cancer within a matter of months of giving birth to, to my son. And so I was on the journey then of even deeper healing. I really knew that um, I had manifested death into my life again in the context of being a young mom and having children. And I knew that I had manifested the same situation, you know, that I had experienced with my mom dying when I was younger. But it was my opportunity to be able to change my family lineage, to be able to change my um the history of my family and what our belief system was. And so I made a commitment to my children that I was not going to die. I made a commitment to my children that I was never going to leave them as children. And I made a commitment that my health and my wellness and my parenting um, were the most important things in my life. And so I spent the next number of years getting myself healthy and well and really understanding that what it was that I was experiencing was a lack of trust in myself to be heard and to get my, my pain out. You know, I had been holding on to a lot of sadness, a lot of pain, a lot of anger, you know, from my mom's death, from my dad's death, um, from my divorce, and really from my lack of support and trust in the universe. And that was my that was my path of healing, knowing that I needed to to be able to heal that, and then 